Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly spending video of just an update on what I spent daily during this past week. Um, so today is December 17th. Um, so this is just spending for the past week. Um, so I'm going to keep the Christmas colors going and we're going to do a green color today. So y'all should be able to see it pretty well. Um, if you are a returning subscriber and watcher, thank you for subscribing and continuing to watch my videos. And if you are new here, I am a 22 year old uh, budgeter. I used to be a cash budgeter, but I'm on a CNA contract right now, about 12 hours away from home. And my bank that I use is nowhere near where I'm at. So I'm doing online budgeting for the time being. But I do plan on being here a long while, so if that ends up working out, I will be going back to cash budgeting, hopefully. So, um, I have quite a few spending purchases for this week, so we're going to start off with December 12th. And that was $9.37. And and that was at Chick-fil-A, of course, my favorite place. And we're going to be putting this in the eating out category. Um, I don't track the Bank of America balance right now because um, with the hotel that we're at, it comes out nightly and it keeps pending until the end of the week and then it pulls out the full amount. So it kind of messes up all of my um, spending and balances. And then on the 13th, I spent, it was $12.99 and it shows apple.com. I think this is for my Canva app. Um, I need to double check that because I didn't know I had that coming out. So this is a good thing that keeps me aware of what's coming out of my account. Um, and on this one, I don't know really what category to put it in. It's kind of a bill. Um, I do need it. I do use it for making my thumbnails. So another one on the 13th. We have Uber Pass. This is something that I need to cancel. It was $9.99. I did not know that this was still coming out. So I'm gonna put on here Bill and then I'm going to come in in red and I'm gonna put Cancel because I do not want that one anymore. <laughs> Um, and then our next one is on the 15th and this was 13.13 and this was for YouTube Premium. I'm just going to put YouTube Plus and this is for my husband's account. And I'm going to also put this one under bills. This is the one thing that he likes to have for like a, his little monthly bill. And then we're still going. We're about halfway there. We have one on the 16th. Um, this is one I've had before. Uh, but this was 1070. And this was at Tamara's. That's a bakery near me that has some gluten-free options. And let's just say I've been craving sweets lately. So that is what I decided to go get again. And then also on the 16th, yet again, is Chick-fil-A for $15.34. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit sniffly. I had just gotten over all of this viral stuff right before we got here. And for some reason, I have it again. So that's not fun. 
but we're there if Lou's helping. So that's why my voice is also a little bit off. And then my favorite place ever was at Costco today, the 17th. We just got back from there. I spent $26.51. Um, for this, we have like a couple staple items that we always get. So I always get their $4.99 rotisserie chickens because they're really big and I can get a lot of chicken off of them. So in my mind, the, it's cheaper than buying like chicken breasts from the store. And then, so we get like two of those a week. And then we like to buy their frozen sweet potato fries because they are labeled gluten-free. Walmart does not have any frozen sweet potato fries that are labeled gluten-free. So we get them at Costco and they are the best sweet, sweet potato fries ever. I just throw them in the air fryer for a quick snack. And I love those. This is going under groceries. And then our last small thing for today was 9.37. My husband and I decided to treat ourselves with some Chick-fil-A, of course, milkshakes. So I'm obsessed with their um, peppermint milkshake. So if you're still watching, comment down below if you also love Chick-fil-A's peppermint milkshake because it is, in my opinion, like the best thing ever. And then our very last one, it hasn't like fully come out, but I'm just gonna put the full amount because um, we've had another seven nights in the hotel since I last did this. So for a week in the hotel, it is 618.52. And this is why I'm so ready to get into our apartment because I am tired of paying this every week. Our hotel is actually one of the cheaper extended stay hotels. So it's not bad for an extended stay hotel, but compared to the furnished apartment that we're gonna be getting, it is like $500 more expensive so like this hotel room is only 320 square, square feet because it has a little kitchenette in it whereas our apartment we're getting has a one car garage it's a two bedroom two bathroom upstairs apartment and it's completely furnished all utilities up until 250 dollars of utilities are included in the rent so like if we go over that we will have to pay but it's just my husband and I, so we're not going to go over that utility amount of $250. So that's included in the rent. And then they also have uh, high-speed Wi-Fi and cable. And they have, like, trash, recycling. They have free snow removal. So, like, they actually come up to the garage and remove your snow. Um, and, like, it's all of that for $18.75. Whereas this is pushing... Um, it's pushing about $2,500 a month, whereas all of that is $1,875. So we are ready to get in there. We just got to um, make sure we have the money for that first month, and then we're good to go. And then we've also been having issues with this hotel room. Like, we already had to move once because our heat wasn't working in our other room. And... <laughs> They put us in this room and now the heat isn't working in this room so we're just not lucky with this hotel room but we just had them bring us up a space heater because we're like we're not moving again so the next time we'll be moving it'll be moving to the apartment so i hope y'all enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and just comment down below um just you know if you kind of have your weeks where you have more purchases because it happens. But thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.